do it. Let's do it! <laughs> Generically though, if someone says, what kind of band are you, and I'd say, just overall, because I don't know what people yeah. listen to and how in-depth they are yeah. into the music, I would just say death metal. And then, then if they're like, oh really, what what yeah. kind, then I, we can elaborate some more. I guess death metal, it's got that whole, the, ha the lyrics have to be about killing or, or, <laughs> or gruesome stuff, and, and it has to be like a name that's, I don't know, not offensive, but along those lines and, and you can't read the, the logo but so so when i say death metal i don't mean like well, we're death metal but we're in the same kind of genre but it's more i guess technical extreme technical progressive aggressive i uh, was in the first my first metal band in uh 1987 <laughs> <laughs> i played my first show out on stage it was 89 Thing. No, it was a 88, I think, something like that. Anyway, I was playing bass, and that was down in Texas, <coughs> and moved up here, and then uh, I couldn't find a guitar player that would play what I wanted him to play. So I figured I just had to do it myself, <laughs> and uh, I guess that was what, like around 2000, must have been when I started playing uh, six string, and just been writing as crazy riffs as I can write, and. Trying to find some crazy motherfuckers to play with me, and, and here we are, a few years later. I've been playing drums for like 11 years. I've been in more bands that I could probably really think to count right now. Um, honestly, the drummer that was playing for this band was someone I went to high school with, and I've been a fan since the first time I heard the band, and there was an open spot, and I felt so desired that I needed to be playing with these guys. and. I don't know, I couldn't say much anything else, man. It's the fucking best band in the local scene, and I get to play with them. You know, I started out, I couldn't scream, I just yelled, like, and it was really weak, and it sounded kind of like, you know, if I get kicked in the nuts today, like, ah, oh, roll, <sighs> wimpy. But, uh, I just, and it hurt so bad that, you know, I screamed until my voice is gone, you know, but, <laughs> and then after that, it hurt so bad, couldn't swallow spit, couldn't do anything. But I just kept doing it, doing it, doing it. Like, you know, on a regular basis, not really. I mean, I'd give some, like a day off here and there, but no matter how bad it hurt, you know, I was totally obsessed with uh, being able to scream like people that I heard. Like, it's not a, uh, your standard, uh, Radio rock. So, yeah, your sta <laughs> yeah, your standard structures of songs. You know what I mean? That you can tap your toe to. You know. I don't even really think of them, think of them as songs. I think of our songs as arrangements yeah, or true. compositions, because we don't we don't, have we don't ever have a structure like a like a, a rock song or a pop song where you have a verse <clears throat> verse chorus bridge verse hook classic hook. formula. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, there there is no formula. There's no this is the chorus riff. I mean, you know, I might refer to something as a chorus riff, but it's it's not because it's a, a identified. Yeah, it's just a way of identifying something, and not so much as that it, we use it like a chorus would be used in a normal pop song. Mm -hmm. Art should have no limits. Period. Art should have absolutely no limit on the capabilities or the power of it. Mine was all about speed and aggression. I mean, it's my only outlet for all my thoughts and all my feelings and like he was saying you know the actual capability of the people that are on the albums and just being completely blown away by what they were doing with their instruments and I just wanted to be part of that I wanted to be I don't know in competition I guess for lack of better words and like I said man I it's the only way I can really get out any of my, my emotions or any of my feelings because I certainly don't have the vocabulary to do so, nor do I have the writing power. What better way than to beat the living shit out of an inanimate object? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know people that can... Well, I've done it myself. I put on a, a ridiculously brutal, fast <laughs> album and went to sleep. Uh, especially in, in times where I was trying to drown everything else out and there was a lot of noise or something. I could put on my headphones and just 
I wasn't going to hear anything but was going through that, <laughs> those headphones and I could actually relax. To me it was, it was like an escape from reality. Yeah. Because, uh, well it, to me it's, a, it's an escape both ways. When I'm playing it, I have to concentrate on what I'm doing and then, you know, the fact that I'm two days late on my mortgage payment is gone. I don't give a fuck. You know, it's like I can just forget about the stupid stuff and just, you know, lose myself in the music. And I think you can do that vicariously, even when you're not playing it, when you're just enjoying it. We're going to do a little music for you, country style.